Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. This is one of the hopefully mini reviews that I mentioned in my previous video and it is on Nylon Angel by Marianne de Pierre's. I bought this book June last year at Perth Supernova. Uh, they have a sort of, I guess an alley, I guess, of authors where they set up booths and you can go and buy a book from the author and then they will sign it to you and you can chat with them and have your photo taken and things like that. It was my third year at Supernova and I had never gone and done a walk through the author's little alleyway. So I thought I may as well do it. So I went and had a chat with Matthew Riley and then had a chat with Marianne de Pierre's. So um, there was no one in her line and so I just went up and said, okay, I've never read any of your books but I'd really like to. Which one should I start with? <laughs> And she asked me a couple of questions about what kind of books I like and pretty much this was the one she picked for me. So basically the story is about Parrish who is in the clutches of a super nasty mean maniac madman of a boss and yeah he is pretty much like a creep understatement of the century millennium whatever but she pretty much wants to get out from under his clutches and she will do anything to do so so she goes to do so but then um, she ends up har harboring a murderer and from there all sorts of lovely things happen and won't go into any more but Basically, it's set in the future in Australia, and it's sort of cyberpunk, but, sorry, itchy, um, it's cyberpunk set in the future, set in Australia, but each territory has its own, it's weird, there's sort of like the technology area, there's the wasteland, there's the really poor areas it's really strange um, you have to read the book to sort of understand there's like the really rich area um, and you pretty much you don't go into the areas that you don't belong because they can tell yeah anyway in order to understand that bit you have to really read the book plot wise I think it's very interesting um, I think the author has done a good job at figuring out what to write about and how to write it. Is it super gripping? Not really. Um, it's not one of those books that you can read in one set, like one go. Because of all my work stuff and like being sick and stuff, I guess it took me about three weeks to read, just on and off, picking up, putting it down. I really couldn't read much of it at a time. Um, just because it would get too confusing. Um, otherwise, I found it quite interesting that Parrish isn't one of those Mary Sue kind of characters where she's super perfect, that, yeah, everything she does, she does right. She has her flaws. And yeah, um, there are some things that you sort of, like, question and you don't like about her, but then... You sort of like her and you grow to like her towards the end of it. Again, plot-wise, I think it's quite original. It's well-written. It's reasonably fast-paced, but I just find it a bit confusing that, yeah, I just couldn't read so much in one sitting. Would I read the other two books in the trilogy? Because this is the first book in the Parish Places trilogy. Probably. Um, I would give the second book a go. Um, and if I enjoyed that one, then yes, I would read the third one. 
So my rating for this book would be a three and a half out of five. And before I leave you, I will show you that I got to meet Marianne at Supernova and she signed my book. So that was very nice. And she is actually quite nice to meet. So if you do get a chance to meet Marianne de Piers, then definitely do so. Um, she has written quite a few books. So um, definitely check them out. Sorry, I'm just quite itchy. I think I got bitten by a mosquito. But anyway, that is it for my review on Nylon Angel. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you next time. So until then, take care. Bye.